for me personally today i think this is a good opportunity to refocus and re-energize because i recently became a dtm and then what do i do next so maybe i will get some of my answers from you all today i will just share with you what for me is dtm all about a distinguished toastmaster the highest accolade that uh, toastmasters international confers upon us it consists of three elements which is your communication skills your leadership skills and your support <coughs> skills so let me talk about what i did personally as communication so i started in august uh, 2017 that makes it just 3 years since i joined toastmasters and i started with the traditional program because that's what was available at that time i fell in love with toastmasters there is no question about it because the moment i found toastmasters i was immersed in it and i focused straight away on completing my communication journey but just as i was about to finish my manual called the competent communicator manual the new program which all of us are doing today uh, came into existence and that's where i really sort of found my footing because i found that there were many people who were struggling with pathways they didn't know how to navigate through pathways and within a week or i think 10 days after pathways was launched i was the first person here in district 20 who created a hands on workshop where people brought in their laptops and i trained them how to log in how to use pathways and as you can see in the pathways i have already completed four paths the dynamic leadership leadership development team collaboration and effective coaching and as you know for a dtm you need to finish only two paths so my second uh, dtm is almost there in the pocket and i'm currently doing my fifth path called visionary communication so this paths and plus my previous competent communicator path gave me the skills for communication how to speak how to use uh, body language so now that i have finished my communication i was also in parallel looking for what i should do for leadership the first part is demonstrating your leadership skills at the club level and that is simply to take up a role in the excom many of you are already excom members so please understand that is a requirement for your distinguished toastmaster award so take up any of the seven roles that are available to you i have mostly done vp education and pre president i only did it because i chartered that club but my favorite role has been education and once i completed that i immediately stepped up and last year i was the area director and this year i have stepped up one step further and i am currently the division f director so these are the roles that bring out your leadership qualities it challenges you helps you to motivate members at the club level at the area level so do take up this roles because this roles help you not only in toastmasters to get your distinguished toastmaster award but in life whether it is at work whether it's in social environment leadership is what it's all about and as you know toastmasters tagline is not to become a better communicator toastmasters tagline is where leaders are made so step up and become a leader and the third part of a dtm journey is after you have demonstrated your communication skills after you demonstrated your leadership skills you need to help others and so there are specific roles that we need to do to demonstrate the skills so one of the role that i did 2 years ago was to be a club mentor club mentor means when a new club is formed you go there and you support them you guide them and you have to do it for 6 months and i had done that for this assp uh, toastmasters club also you could uh, start a new club It requires a lot of organizational skills to get those 20 members to form the new club so in my case i had created a corporate club in my company dautos masters and currently i am also the coach where a coach is assigned when the club is struggling so you go in and you motivate members you get in new members and you bring the club up so that is also a role that you can take up so all this kind of roles 
basically is a culmination of your communication skills your leadership skills to support others and so this three things that once you have successfully demonstrated and you have completed certain tasks entitles you to this lovely beautiful plate please understand that a dtm is a self paced journey you, i did it pretty fast because i was in love with those masters i know people who have taken 10 years also to reach their journey because they wanted to take it slow and easy it's a self paced program there are no examinations you evaluate yourself most of the time though we have evaluators for your speeches for your tasks but most of the time it's about you you telling yourself have i done a good job if you feel that you have not done a good job go and repeat it again no harm so you evaluate yourself you see the changes that happen to you and in turn others will see those changes in you we always give this challenge to new members you join those masters and you be consistent to take up roles and speeches so every meeting you either do a speech or a role you give me 10 speeches that's about an a year and you take up role for 10 times i can guarantee the change in you and if you don't see the change we will refund your toastmaster fee and we are so confident that we this will never happen because if you do things consistently in toastmasters the change is inevitable and that's about my journey and i don't see any questions uh, so i am done thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts and my journey with you all uh, over to you 